Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn in how to use Microsoft Bookings. So the first thing that we should do here is we have to open any of our web browser. And then of course, we have to use the search bar at the top and search for Microsoft 365. Okay, and then you have to take note that in order for you to access the Bookings app, you have to subscribe to a plan. Okay, so just click on this first website and then you'll be directed to this page. Of course, you have to sign up or log into your account. Now, just click on this apps option at the top left and you'll be able to see here now the bookings option. So if you're going to find here the bookings, just click on the more apps. And then here you will then just have to search for the bookings or look for the bookings option. So after you found the bookings, just click on it. Okay, so as you can see right here, the bookings is available on my account since I have subscribed to a plan. So I just clicked on this one and you'd be directed to this page to your dashboard. Okay, so as you can see, I already made some meeting type before. So I have 30 minutes meeting, 15 minutes meeting, and an emergency meeting and proposal. And then for the booking page, I have the conference and the initial interview. So we are going to start with creating a meeting type. So here for the meeting type, just have to type out right here, add a title for your meeting. Okay, so for example, this one is urgent. So let's name this one as urgent meeting. Okay, and then after that, for the category. So here, just search for a category. So I want to use the red category for this one. And then here, just have to add a note. So like for example, book time to connect with me. So it's up to you. Okay, next one is the location. So if this one is for Teams meeting, so you just have to toggle the switch on for this one. Next, the duration. So I'm going to set this to an hour. I can also customize the duration, of course. Next one for the privacy, we have public and private. So we are going to set this to private so only people with a booking link can view this one. Next one is the schedule customization. So here we can use our regular meeting hours or use custom availability hours. So here you can also um, add if you're only available on a specific date range. So we can um, select here the start date and then the end date. Okay, and then if you are not available to a specific taste, so you just have to click on the X icon. Okay, so beside the schedule. So for example, here you can also go to the advanced option. After that, just click on save at the top right. And as you can see right here, we have successfully created our meeting. Okay, so you can also click on the three dots. So you can copy this one, you can duplicate, you can make this one public or delete it. Okay, so the next thing that we should do now is to create a booking page. So to create a booking page, you just have to simply click on the create a booking page option. Okay, so when you do that, you'd be directed to another page. So let me just show you here the booking page that I have created before. So we have this one right here. So we have the calendar, the booking page, the customers, the staff, the services, the business information, the integration, and then the staffs assigned. So here, let's go ahead and create our booking page. So here, you can choose how you want to get started. So you can also um, clone one of the um, existing booking page. So here, I'm just going to start from scratch. Okay, so now you just have to create a new shared booking page. So here, you just have to give your booking page a name. So the business name you enter here will be used to create the email address for sending booking invites. Okay, so just type it out here, like for example, conference. Okay, and then just have to choose a business type. You can add a logo if you want to, so we can add a logo later on. I will show you how you can do that. Now let's add here or choose a business type. So we have healthcare, recruiting, IT support, education, sales, and more. And then after that for the business hours, so we can customize this one. See, for example, we are only available on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we can exclude it Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, next one is the time. So starting from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. only. 
then after that just click on next now here you just have to invite a few people to get started so you can always make changes invite external users or configure their availability later okay so i'm going to add here the all company and then here you can also search for people in your organization and then after that just click on the next option and you just have to set up a service a service is an appointment type so we've created an initial appointment type below that you can customize as you fit okay so here you just have to edit the service so we have the service name so for the service duration we have an hour i'm going to change the service name as well and then when is this service available so here are the details and then just click on update and then just click on next here choose who can book appointments so set permissions for who can see booking page check the availability and book appointments so here we have no self service people in my organization or anyone so i'm just going to select people in my organization and then just click on create after that so you just have to wait here a couple of seconds while they are setting up your booking page so after that one you'll be able to see here now that there's a lot more that you can do to customize your scheduling experience you just click on this button right here and then here let's start with the calendar so here you'd be able to see here the available calendar days and then the time as well and then the staffs assigned Okay, so here if you would like to remove that stuff, so you just have to uncheck them or check their name. So starting with the calendar, next one is the booking page. So here on the booking page, we just have to configure it. So starting with the business page access control. So here is our um, booking page link so we can use that later on to send it to our staff. So here you just clicked on it. So for the business page access control, it includes the requirement of Office 365 control, search engine, and indexing. Next one is the customer data usage content. So add a personal data collection and usage content message to your page. So you can also show a personal data collection and usage consent toggle along with a message on my booking page. So you can also check this box right here. Next one is the default scheduling policy. So it's default scheduling policy, availability notification, and staff settings. Okay, so here we have the time increments. So show available times and increment of 30 minutes. Here the minimum lead times, so maximum lead time for booking and cancellations. Next one is the maximum lead time. So maximum days a booking can be made advance in. So I'm just going to set this to 30 days or 31 days or for a month. Okay, next one is the email notifications. So if you would like to be notified by the business by email when a booking is created or changed, so you just have to check this box. And if you want to send anything invite to the customer as well. And then for the staff control we have here, we can allow customers to choose a specific person for the booking. And then here for the availability, in general, a service can be booked when it's staff or free. So if you wish to customize this further, you can do so below. So here for the general availability, so here we are going to choose a bookable when staff or free. And you can also set the different availability for a date range. Now for the customize your page, the customize booking page to go with the brand of your organization. So we just have to uh, select a page template and then the color theme. So I think I'm going to use this one. And then if you would like to set custom color for your booking page, so you just have to check the box. And then for your logo, display the business logo on your booking page as well. And then for the region and time zone settings, you choose your booking page language and time zone settings. So we have the language right here and then the current time zone. Okay, so next one is the customer. So let me just uncheck this customer data usage content. Okay, and then just have to click on save after that. Now let's proceed to the next one, which is the customers. So here we can add new customers so since we don't have customers yet you just click on the plus icon and right here you just have to type up their name their last name and then their email address and then the chat the phone the business phone the mobile and then the notes and then for the more option here is the business address the work and then the other options as well so after that one just click on save changes and be able to add here now your new customer and now for the staff okay so here 
be able to see here the stuff so we have here the overview the contact the calendar availability and the services so for the rules i'm going to select the all rules option here and then here be able to see here our profile and then the other staff as well so if you would like to edit the staff just click on the edit option then here the contact the calendar and availability and the services of course so if you are done setting up this one so now let's proceed to the services so here for our services this is the overview of our services so we have here the service details so if you'd like to customize this one just click on the pencil icon okay and then we have here the service details okay and then the calendar and availability and of course the staff assigned okay so if someone is assigned with this um service so you'd be able to see that stuff right here next one is the business information so here we have the basic details it includes the business name address phone links and other basic details so we have the name the conference the business address and then of course we also have here the business logo so here you can add here now your business logo but for the privacy policy and terms and conditions so if you would like to add this one just click on it and then just have to provide here the url okay so to add a logo just click on the add logo option and you'd be directed to your computer and then just have to upload your logo next for the business hours so just enter the information about your business hours okay so we are done with this one and then now for the ACS integration okay so connect your um, Azure communication so here you just have to use this one if you have an Azure uh, application next one is the integration so here is the connectors and apis so we have the power automate so power automate supports um you know bookings with the power automate and build automated workflows with hundreds of other products and services so bookings connector introduces new triggers for appointment create update and cancel which can be used to create actions with different microsoft products like dynamics forms sharepoint outlook or other third party products like zoom webex and stripe so please note that you would need to be the admin of the shared booking page and have a per automate license to create a flow so assuming that we already have a license just click on the button and you'd be directed to another tab so I'm just going to give you a quick overview about this one. So here we have the sign in. So just click on sign in. And then after signing in, you'd be directed to this page. So here we have the Microsoft Bookings Preview. And then for the trigger, so we are on the connector section. So we have here that when an appointment is created, when an appointment is canceled, and when an appointment is updated. So we are going to try when an appointment is created okay and then from here we can now start our workflow so when an appointment is created what would be the next um, action so for example we have here approvals or microsoft teams so when you select this one you'll be able to see here now if you would like to add a member create a teams meeting and also have their options so here we have to sign in again so yeah there are so many um things here that you can integrate but of course some of them need to uh to be upgraded to a premium plan of course you should have a premium plan account so you'd be able to access these things but yeah that's how the integration works okay so since we are done with this one let us try to go back here and as you can see we have successfully created our booking page now just click on the share option and right here we can copy the link of this one we can email the link or you know embed the code so we are going to copy the link and then share it to a message so let's try to paste it to another tab so we'd be directed to the booking page okay so just wait for a couple of seconds and you'll be able to see here now the booking page so this is how it looks like so assuming that we are the invitee so you'll be able to see here now the name of this um, booking page and then we have here the stuff 
and then the available dates and time so when we select this date right here we'll then just have to select the available time then after that one we are going to add here now our details our first and last name our email our address phone number then you can also add any special request then after that just click on book okay so after clicking on the book option we'd be directed to this page so thank you for booking with us you will get a confirmation message in email shortly so we have here now our schedule and then right here if we want to reschedule our um meeting so we can click on our schedule we can also cancel our booking and then we can also create a new booking so we are going to cancel this one for now and then after that just click on ok and then just have to select another date okay so you can also um, email this one so let us try to email the link so when you click on the email option it'll be directed to this page so you just have to type out right here the email of your invitee okay and then after that you just have to click on save and you're done creating your first meeting type and your booking page so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye